Hey everyone, I'm Captain Forest Falcon. Welcome back to Summon Knight Swordcraft Story 2 Blind. So, no, the fists also don't work on the dang trees. Like, seriously, what works on the dang trees? Okay, it's the spear. I should have guessed. So, spear is just like, you know, reach up and knock down whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, it had to be something, right? I'm just checking around in case there's any emblems anyway. So, this must be the place. Oh, is this a dungeon? Okay, cool. Probably a good time. It's probably a good thing that I saved when I... Or that I stopped right when I did. Uh, this is probably going to go up. I'm, Or maybe not that much. I don't know when the last time I was, actually did a hard save was. But yeah, last episode... Uh, kind of didn't get as much done. Mostly because of the fact we were fighting a darn rabbit. Are you guys selling stuff? Uh, you made a lot of weapons, haven't you? You've also made some upgrades, right? If you make an upgrade, the durability of the weapon will be increased. Yep, we figured that out with the sword uh, a little bit ago. Like, at least in the comments, like, after the episode, I didn't, I wasn't paying attention to that. Also, the weapon may gain a special attack or special effect, depending on the type of material you use for the upgrade. Listen closely, this is a secret. There are some weapons that will gain special attacks, even if you don't use an upgrade. These weapons will get special attacks if you make them normally. Okay, uh, but the thing is, is that you have to use, like, the same material to make the same weapon, don't you? Otherwise, don't you make an entirely different weapon? So how do you use special materials when you're making them? Uh, how come we have found a place? We just talked to you guys, didn't I? But you were, like, up above. Are we going to see these guys throughout? Probably. Anyway, we've got to explore this place and... See what's to find. Okay, some Teru Terus. Also, I should probably be a bit careful uh, about durability. I was actually kind of hoping that there was going to be uh, a place that I could just warp back, but it doesn't look like it. Because, like, our weapons are kind of low right now. Hmm. Should I just leave and go do that and come back? I might. Okay, so first we're going to repair. And now I think I want to try experimenting a bit with this. So I think the knuckles, if we're going to make any use of these knuckles, we want to have them have a bit more uh, durability. Because knuckles are just like that one thing that, you know, you're going to go through it like nothing. Okay, interesting. So it also buffs agility. So, it's not just entirely within, uh, durability. Yeah, so, let's upgrade this a few times, see what we get. Material's been used. Let's disassemble it immediately. I don't know if... Did our, uh, did our tech go down for it, though? I wonder, did, does tech affect, uh, how it, uh, how much, many stats it actually gains? That would be interesting. Okay, but, so, create, and we're going to use this again. Okay, so it only works the first time. So it's, okay, so it's not like you can just keep doing this again and again and again, and it'll get better. It seems like it only works, like, the first time that you do it. And then it's just, like, uh, interesting. Okay, so... Okay, so it seems like only doing it the first time uh, is worth doing it. Because we didn't get any more stats for that. Also, the tech is going down. I think the tech is going down by half every time you do it. So that's something to keep in mind. But why would you want to do it more than once? Uh, maybe if you can do it with another material to like upgrade it or something. Also, I see up there that we're considered an amateur. So is that like our actual rank as... Uh, can we check our rank for, for what we uh, do with weapons? Also, we can check techniques. So we've just got the amateur knuckles because we didn't use any other materials. Quite a few weapons that we can get here. All just knuckles, up to 40. Yeah, that I'm pretty sure that's more than what we had in the last game. Yeah, so that means there's if we wanted to get them all, we'd have to make 200 weapons. And we're not making them just once. We probably have to upgrade them and stuff. Oh yeah, beast, bestiary. I'm not going to check that right now. 
Also, we can hold 35 weapons, is that right, at one time? So when do we get more stones? How do we get more stones? That is a question. Okay, one more thing. Uh, yeah, we'll figure out a bit more how do we can do fancier things with our weapons. We haven't gotten too many unique materials yet. Oh, whoops. Oh, we can, we can just straight buy this stuff now. Like before we had to actually create it? That might mean there's some better stuff that we could create. Like, let's see, we could do this, which would give us uh, defense and agility. Let's see, what we have is uh, Iron Ring, so that boosts attack. This is the one I kind of want now. Uh, let's, oh, but we, oh, we actually need to make some other things in order to get it. So, so for instance, we got the Ore Ring. Oh, and we need heavy metal ore, so we need the next uh, sort of material in order to start making this stuff. We can make it. Yeah, we can make that. We can only make the basic stuff right now. The rest of it, we need uh, something better. We could just spend a thousand. It's n definitely not worth it to spend a thousand. I can tell you that. Okay, so I have a thought. I feel like this could potentially be something that we could break. But maybe we need something like the drill. We'll find out later. Wait, what? What route did I take? <laughs> oh, apparently I just accident completely <laughs> I completely accidentally found the way to get those chests. My gosh. <laughs> I swear I just completely We get an anywhere diary. We get a rub stone. We get a drill shape stone. So I can make drills now if I want. I wonder if... Oh, come on, that has to be a thing. No? Fine. It feels like there should be, like, one of those things hiding somewhere around here. I wonder how frequently they show up. I guess they'll be shiny. Okay, so we're back from that. And we also found a missing sh shape stone. Yeah, so I was wondering where the drill was. So I guess they had one of every kind in that uh, first area. Just in the order that you would normally uh, be expected. Okay, more of these guys. Let's see, I'm... I wonder when we're gonna really get the ability to sort of improve on our weapons, because... Like, I mean, I, I do have that one option. Like I said, uh, you know, of uh, using that thing we got from the boss. But I don't want to use it because I don't know how rare that material is. Or if it limits the weapons that we can get. Also, I feel like using the axe is maybe better to use against him. He's actually pretty dang tough. Okay, seriously, stop, dude. Let's just try using a few charge hits on him. Yeah, like, he, he doesn't move much. <laughs> just takes a lot of hits. There, we're getting some better stuff, and we're actually getting some experience so we might level up. I wonder, does the game maybe maybe intend for you to actually, though, uh, you know, use that thing to make yourself a better weapon, rather than just say, no, I think I'll wait. Oh no, not those guys. I'm talking about the blue blobby guy. I hated them. They were, like, late game. And here they are. Like, these guys have a lot of health, like, for this point. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if I was supposed to mash out of that. That might have been the case. Okay. Okay, did that not even hit him? Ugh, I don't like how, uh... Okay, that does hit him. I don't like how I'm once again getting in the habit of getting them sort of stacked. Like, I'm just splitting the damage between them. Okay, I'm going to start putting more into attack, just because of the fact that it uh, feels hard to kill these guys. And also, magic. Cool, we still got some. Like, it's been like a few rooms, like we came back here to do uh, some repairs. Guess I should have maybe just actually waited to get a decent material, and then I could have crafted something. 
Yeah, instead of going through the here with these uh, crummy weapons. Ah, who is that? Did you hear somebody? Orin! It was coming from in there. Let's go. Okay. Oh, wait. No. No, Orin. I saw the rare medallion. <laughs> or the... What, what are those things even called? Come on, come a bit lower. Could you do me a favor and come down? Well, I guess I can just make you come down. Yeah, I just need to charge it up a little bit. I don't even need to do a full charge. It almost feels like a disadvantage to do that. Okay, so Orin is in the next room in trouble. So we're gonna go help him, but before, it's obviously more important that we get this stuff. Okay, can we get some goodies here? More tough leather. More tree. Oh, there was a heal point hidden, like, right beneath it, too. Yeah, so definitely a good idea to come over this way. So one more time. Yeah, so this isn't a bad place to, like, if I need to do any grinding. But let's just keep going. Okay, and Dinah gets a level up and learns Enchant Aqua. So let's go ahead and let's get that equipped in. Oh, yeah, we're... Oh, man, we don't get it. So there's not even any point to doing that. Wait. No, wait, I can get it. I just need to go back here. There we go. And that should also restore uh, support. So now if I go to magic... Oh. I might as well equip it anyway. Yeah, we've got one use of it. Also, we've got three uses of Aqua Tornado and three uses of healing. So I should start using those uh, more in battle because we've actually got some to use now. Okay, let's see what we got here. Done. Orin? Um... Ugh! What the heck is that? Is it the howling thing that Gabriel was talking about? It's gigantic! Yeah, that... That is quite the thing. Orin, watch out! Huh... Stop it. No, who is this? Huh? What? Sorry about that. Borgrim isn't dangerous. Please don't hurt him. Borgrim? Is that monster Borgrim? Is he your friend? Oh, uh... I, I look like a ghost, but I'm not a summon creature. Huh? Uh, how can I explain this? Uh, but in any case, we won't hurt you. Yeah, I trust you. Seems legit. Ah! Orin. Please, I know he's big and scary looking, but he won't hurt you. Please trust me. Hmm, can I trust that voice? Uh, I'll trust. Alright, I trust you. Thank you. Orin. Hey, Edgar, you were there. Look at that. He's humongous. I was really surprised. Didn't you realize I was here? Well, Borgrim's so huge, I couldn't take my eyes off of him. Hmm, sure. What are you doing here? I was chasing someone suspicious nearby. I thought he may have come in here. You guys should be careful. Oh, I've got to run. He might still be around outside. Uh, bye, Nina. He's gone. He's always running everywhere. Is he always rushing around like that? Yeah. Oh, let me introduce myself. I'm Nina Nina. I'm Edgar Edgar, and this is my guardian beast, Dinah Dinah. Hi there. Very funny. My name is Nina Nina, but you can just call me Nina. So, a guardian beast. Are you a summoner? Not at all, not at all. I'm a craft knight. Well, I'm still an apprentice, though. And it was recently that I got my guardian beast, so yeah. Hey, what are you getting at? Uh, never mind. We're looking for the fortress that holds the demon vault. The fortress? Hmm. Oh, do you know where we can find it? Uh, I do know of a building, but I don't know if it's what you're looking for. Can you tell me anyway? I'd like to take a look. I don't know how to say it. Why don't I just guide you there? You've trusted me about Borgrim. And I feel I can trust you. There's a glow in your spirit that seems pure. Everybody's seen all kinds of things to me today. What kind of glow is this? Something pure? Yes, I can kind of see it if I look hard enough. 
But there's another reason why I'd rather just show you the way myself. Huh? I'm really bad at giving directions. Oh, makes sense. Yeah. Anyway, Orin's for looking for a suspicious person around here. I'll be fine. I'm kind of a ghost. I'll take you to the fortress. Please follow me. Will you let Nina guide you? Sure. It's this way. Please follow me. Interesting that you get that option. Hey, can we talk to you? <laughs> He's just kind of here, doing his own thing. <laughs> okay, anyway. Okay, yeah, there, so he's actually in, like, a pit there. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for this episode, so... Thank you all so much for watching. May you store like the amazing Falcons you are, and have a wonderful day. Peace out.